Hi guys, my name is Maynard Castro and welcome to Future Priority Hub. Sa channel na to, i-discuss natin yung mga topics about radiologic technology. Alright, alright, alright. So guys, it's pair production. So bakit kasi sinawag na pair production? So nangyayari naman to guys, kapag po ang energy, okay, 1.02 MeV or higher. So kung si coherent less than 10 keV, so, si Compton at si Photoelectric po, guys, is the diagnostic range 30 to 150 KEV yan. Okay? 150 to, 30 to 150 KEV, that's your diagnostic range. So, ito guys, guys si pre-production, nangyayari lang ito kapag mega voltage, ayun o, oh, mega electron volt or greater. So, saan siya mag interact So, kung mapansin nyo, guys, the incident X-ray interacts with the nucleus of an atom. Okay? So, ito po yung incident photo, mag-interact kay nucleus. So, what will happen? Mag-disappear po ito. Mawawala po ang uh, mawawala po ang incident x-ray okay, sa uh, atom. So, what will happen? So, yung energy po, nag-disappear, napalit na, nag-decay po into uh, particles. So, we have positive electron at saka negative electron. So, what will happen? Okay, ito pong, uh, kaya siya tinawag na uh, pair production kasi nga po, okay, you have, uh, the product is pair of electrons with opposite charges. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nyo, electromagnetic energy mo, okay, kinombine mo ng uh, electromagnetic energy, EME, electromagnetic energy or EME mo, okay, uh, na convert into uh, particles particles okay so ayan so what will happen so itong incident x-ray energy tatama kay nucleus mag disappear papalitan ng dalawang electron isang positive positron isang negative negatron so what will happen there okay itong negatron po possible siya mag interact with another atom mag cause ng another ionization or excitation as long as mayroon pa siyang energy. Okay, ito naman pong positron, guys. Habang nag-travel po ito, okay? So, kapag po uh, nag uh, si positron po, okay, mag interact with free electron. So, itong free electron po, guys, ito yung electron na na-ionize sa ibang atom. And then, nag-interact kay positron. So, what will happen? Kapag nag-interact po si electron at si positron, mag mag mangyayari, mag-disappear po yung mass nila into to radiation. So, ito guys yung tinatawag na annihilation reaction or radiation or process. Okay, kung saan po yung positron or particles at electron nag-combine and convert their mass into uh, uh, energy. That's your annihilation radiation. So, pansinin nyo guys, dahil nga po ang requirement is 1.02 MeV, so, nahati po yung dalawang radiation, tig 0.51 po sila. Okay? So, napansin niyo yan. Kaya nga guys, ang requirement po kay per production is 1.02. Okay? So, pag nangyari naman guys yung annihilation, so reverse. So, yung particles, particles na convert sa, uh, electro, ano, sa radiation ulit, sa rays. Okay, so napalitan siya kaagad. So tandaan yung energy ng photon ng uh, oh, tingnan niyo guys yung energy ng photon. Ibig sabihin niya guys ng 0.51 MeV, okay? Uh, that's your uh, energy equivalent ng uh, electron. Okay? Stationary lang po siya, hindi gumagalaw. Iba po kasi guys kapag uh, gumagalaw. So ito po yung katumbas na energy ng isang electron, 0.51. So another electron, so another point, 0.51. That's why tinawag siya na pair. Okay, tinawag siya na pair. Kasi ang involved po dito, dalawang electron. And then, kada electron may tick point 0.51. So, dyan na guys, papasok yung law of conservation of energy. Okay, so 1.02 MeV. So, hindi po nangyayari sa diagnostic range kasi nga po, okay, masyadong mataas po ang energy. Okay, so hanggang kilo lang tayo. Ito kasi guys, mega na. Okay, so pre, useful to in nuclear medicine, not in radiography, not in fluoroscopy, not in uh, uh, ultrasound. Okay?
So, ayun guys, ano yung result ng per production? So, ayan. Incident photon disappear. Yes, nag-disappear po yan. X. So, total X-ray absorption na naman yan kasi nang wala. Oh, incident photon is converted into matter. Yes, pair of electrons. So, that's your matter. One and two. Isang positive electron, isang negative. So, ayan, negatron and positron. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng annihilation reaction. So, sa annihilation, yung mass ni electron at ni mass ni positron mga convert into two energy na ginagamit kay PET, C, uh, PET scan. Okay? PET scan po. So, ayan. Two X-ray photons. So, we have 0.51, 0.51. Pag kinanong kayo kung bakit 0.51, ito yung katumbas na energy ng isang electron. That's your rest mass energy. Electron rest mass energy. Okay? Saturday.